Hello fellow teachers, I'm hoping this might be of use to you. So uh, in Nova Scotia here, we just uh, went back on lockdown and I want an opportunity for my students to work from home, but work within a group. So I'm using Google Classroom, Google Docs and Google uh, Sheets and Google Calendar to set this up. So basically here's the, the process. So on my, my lab and the, the contents is not important, but this is the lab document that I'm providing on Classroom. So when they go to the appropriate place on Classroom, they can click and find that. Now, um, they're scheduled to meet with me on Google Meet, and you would just go to your regular homepage here, the stream, and they would click on that, and um, they're gonna be able to see me. So this is, I have my son's computer set up right now, and this is what I'm seeing on his end, okay? So I would see all the students in my grid here listening in. So at some point, I want my students to break up into groups. So I've made a Google Sheet and for, for a sign-up list, and I've linked it right here. So if we open that, we're going to get this. So students are going to decide which group they want to be in, one, two, three, or four. So uh, I've set up my, sh my uh, Google Sheet, so I've disabled all these cells so students can't edit anything except for these ones. Within each column, I've got group one, two, three, four. These are different links for separate Google Meets that those, uh, that those different groups will use. So I will show you how to do that right now. So if you go to Launchpad, Click on Google Calendar, you'll get this pop-up. Let me just get rid of that. So these are the, the links I have set up for later this week. I have group one, two, three, four, which corresponds to these one, two, three, four different links. These are some test ones I just set up. So right now my son's computer is showing they're, they're live with me right now. And he's also on link one. So from my end, this is great because I can go to group one or group two, three or four and pop in and see how they're doing, answer questions or just make sure they're actually present and working. So to set up these different links, here's how you do it. Uh, so you click on whatever day you, you're, you're looking for a time and you adjust the date if need be and the time. All right, and then you want to make sure that this event that you're booking in Google Meets is uh, made available by Google Meet video conferencing. So you just check on that and done. Now, I need to be able to provide students with a link. So if I call this, uh, oops, I'll just call this number one. So for group number one, and I need to copy this link right here is going to go control C and he hit save don't forget that step that's kind of important and there it is right there so you need to provide this link for your students somehow what I did is I made up these these different meeting times one two three four here's the one I just created and I'm going to put those in whatever kind of document you want to share with them in this case I wanted them to, to use a Google sheet all right I hope that's helpful.